Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are live at Moscone Center at the RSA convention. 40,000 security professionals are here talking about security. This thing grows every single year. We're happy to be here and excited for our next guest, AJ Gupta. He's the Global Director, Product Marketing and Management from Huawei. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. So you've been coming here for years and you, you laughed at me when I asked how long you've been coming to here. Oh, it's been ages. You can look at me and <laughs> you can imagine. you got all the hair still oh, dark. come on. Good. You've been too nice to me. So, <laughs> so what's really changed as you've been coming for years, kind of at a global I, perspective. Yeah, yeah, I think we have seen the nature of security change, the nature of threats change, the different companies have changed actually over the years, the crowd has gone up, it swelled like 40,000 you mentioned. So we really think the show has really become the gold standards for the trade shows when it comes to security. We weren't there at RSA, but we last few years we have made it a point to be here every year uh, to, to talk to the customers here. Yeah. And you meet all the people from all over the world, that's the best part, customer partners, everybody. It's interesting because a big part of the theme here is is collaboration and ecosystem. And nobody can do it alone. Everyone covers different pieces of the puzzle. I know you guys are trying to grow your ecosystem. What does ecosystem mean to Huawei? Oh, absolutely, I think uh, we do believe a, uh, from a security perspective, no single vendor can offer the best of the breed security to, to their customers. We really need these partners, the ecosystem, Huawei has something what we call being integrated. That means bringing the partners on board to offer different pieces of the puzzle. Uh, in fact, uh, it's a good point to mention we are announcing two announcements this morning actually. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is about Avira. It's the best AV engine in company in Germany. Uh, Huawei really recognizes the importance of the AV. So we are bringing their AV engine on the Huawei's next generation firewall. It really brings two things performance and the accuracy. That's what people need from an AV point of view. The second announcement we're going to make really is what's called the Huawei's USG 9000V. It's a security gateway actually. So as the cloud proliferation, as people are moving to the cloud, as people are using more and more SaaS applications, you're going to see a lot more security built in from the cloud perspective. Our USG 9000V is actually the perfect gateway to combat the security threats in the cloud. So virtual data centers, the cloud data centers, some of the OTTs, we really bring all the different kinds of security in the USG 9000V. The announcement we are making is really an upgraded version of the existing security appliance that we call 6000V. Again, it's a software security, works with different VMs, whether it's KVM, whether it's Zen, whether it's NSX, Huawei's own virtual system, the Huawei's Fusion Sphere, the performance is in terabytes, so you can actually go and read some of the specs uh, from the Huawei's perspective. One of the best of the breed products for virtual security. Right, and the cloud's changed everything, right? I mean, so many applications are delivered via the cloud now, and even if it's not cloud, and it's an internal cloud, people want the flexibility of cloud, they want the scalability of cloud. They really want the way the cloud works for them to deliver the applications to their customers and their employees. Uh, definitely, so three things I'm going to mention here from a cloud perspective. What people are looking from a cloud perspective or cloud security perspective is on demand. How do you scale in, scale out as the demands of the bandwidth goes up? You've got to make sure your network security is able to keep up with that demand. People are looking for visibility. You got this multitude of appliances, boxes, cloud boxes, cloud security all over the place. How do you make sense out of it? How do you really bring all of those uh, uh, thresholds, all of those uh, alerts come together into the form of that CIO or CSO can really understand. Right. And the last thing I'm going to make it easy to configure, plug and play, some of the automation feature. Automation, people are starting to move in the security, but you got to be careful when you bring automation from a security perspective. You need to automate tasks that are not that mission critical, but as we get more and more trust, you're going to see more security automation uh, in the industry. Yeah, because on this cloud, it just needs to work, right? Everybody just expects I can add more capacity, I can spin it down, and it just needs to work, right? It's somebody else's problem. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> somebody but, else's data center. Yeah, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, I just know it works. Yeah. I pick up my phone, it kinda, it's connected. That's exactly exactly the concept of security, but you got to be really careful when it comes to security because you got to make sure that when, suppose you, the positive threats and positive and negative threats actually, how do you compare and make sure you automate from a positive point of view and not from a negative point of view. 
But there's one thing that hasn't changed, cloud or no cloud, and they talked about it in the keynote, and that, the great line was, every, every company has at least one person that will click on anything. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it, I love it, actually. <laughs> I mean, how, how do we get past, I mean, so, they're still getting the email from the, uh, you know, the African king who needs a Nigeria, a Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> so, let me put it this way. I would say hackers are getting smarter and smarter. How do you keep up with the threats from the hackers who are one step ahead of it. How do you really combat threats, those uh, threats, unknown threats in the future? So I think things we have seen in 2016, the phishing attacks are back on the rise actually. Obviously you've seen ransomware. Uh, from the point of ransomware, I should mention there's something called popcorn time from a ransomware that I'm going to let you off the hook if you in fact two other computers actually. I don't need the money from you. So hackers are coming with those innovations to, to really go and hack more people, actually. Uh, you've seen what happened with the connected cars. Chrysler had a recall of 1.4 million vehicles in the past. You've seen what's happened with, the, with the, the cameras, the surveillance cameras. So I think two things we really need to watch out in 2017. One is ransomware, and the number two thing, which is extremely, extremely important, is industrial IoT, actually. Absolutely. As the sensors get deployed more and more around the world, uh, you got to make sure that those sensors are able to keep up with the threats. It's not easy. So what Huawei provides to the table is really end-to-end -end security. Two things in security, multi-layered security and uh, security in defense. Those are the principles from the bottoms up, not from the top down. Right. It's, it's funny, the, my fun, the funniest, it's not funny really, the ransomware story was fake ransomware. Yeah. Where I didn't actually put ransomware on your machine, I just told you that I did, so go ahead and pay me anyway. <laughs> and the other thought, you know, is really the, 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 the ability for them to build a business because of Bitcoin yeah. as a way to collect anonymous money from people. That enabled, you know, kind of a, a rise in the escalation of ransomware. It's a complicated, it's a complicated world. So I'm going to give you the last take. As people drive away, leave uh, RSA, 2017, really what should be the top of mind as they think about what's going to happen and what we'll be talking about when we come back a year from now? I think two things I would really suggest people to really take away from the, from the RSA this year. First of all, what's happening in the industry, what's happening in the market, keep updated with the latest threats, see what vendors had a very comprehensive solution from an end-to-end -end perspective, really go do their own research making sure that security is not an afterthought. Security needs to be proactive. Security needs to be built up from ground up. Don't regard security as something secondary, actually. As long as people put premium on the security, that's going to save their face to be, rather than appearing on the Wall Street front page, oh, I've been hacked. I right. mean, they say there are, there are two kinds of company. 50% claim that they have been hacked, 50% no, they just don't admit it, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> all right, very good. Well, AJ, thanks for stopping by, and uh, congrats on a great show. Uh, my pleasure, thanks, Jeff. Thank all you very right. much. He's AJ Gupta, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from RSA Conference in downtown San Francisco. Thanks for watching.